My name is Karen Cleese. I'm a reporter with the Edmonton Journal and today I'm trying to recreate my grandmother's ginger snap recipe. Uh, I think everybody has a food that they remember from childhood that uh, that really makes them emotional. And for me, that's these cookies. My grandmother's been gone for more than 10 years now, and if I succeed in making these cookies, it'll be the first time I've tasted them since she died. So these ginger snaps that I've been working to recreate, they, uh, they were my favorite. And uh, I think like many people, my grandmother, when she passed away, didn't leave behind any of her recipes. And so I have longed for these cookies for many years. She's been gone for more than 10 years now. And uh, so I finally decided that I was going to try to bake them myself. And I bake often, but uh, it's quite a thing to try to recreate your grandmother's recipe. So this is attempt number six. Uh, the other ones have been really flat and hard. Uh, I think I'm getting a little closer here. I've discovered that she almost certainly used this particular uh, recipe. I, I put more ginger in this time and <clears throat> I'm rolling the balls in sugar. I have high hopes for this particular batch. Um, but if it doesn't work, I'll just keep going. Um, yeah, so I think I've probably baked maybe 150 cookies so far in my mission. But, uh, you know, I think everybody has a food like this that they remember from childhood or from their, their lives um, that are special, that bring you back to a certain time. Uh, and this is, this is that recipe for me. So my grandma and grandpa came to Canada from Germany after the Second World War and they took a train across the country to Lethbridge. My grandmother was pregnant with my mother and that's where my mother was born. They came uh, with the help of a Lutheran congregation there and a lot of the cooking that my grandmother did when I was a child came from the Lutheran Ladies Family Favorites Cookbook. So I started there with trying to find the recipe. Um, my grandma was a huge part of my life. She took care of us when we were growing up. Uh, she taught me how to bake and cook uh, and, and fed me, <laughs> especially these cookies, which she knew were my favorite. Okay, it's a moment of truth. I think they're looking pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah, I think they're done. Look how puffy they are. They're not flat. So one of the biggest challenges with recreating my grandmother's cookie recipe was that they, the cookies kept turning out hard and flat. Uh, and so I did a pile of research yesterday about what makes for hard, flat cookies. And turns out it's the temperature of the butter. So this batter was in the fridge overnight. And it looks like the cookies are not hard and flat. So they actually miraculously look like my grandmother's cookies, if you can believe it. We'll have to see what they taste like. I think the six times a charm.